Okay guys, so if you remember we said if d is an efficient decision rule and if this is the transfer function, well thanks to uh, uh, Gross and Clark, we know that the social choice function with this decision rule and with this transfer uh, function is strategy proof. So now let's apply this mechanism into auction environment uh, and see what type of mechanism or auction we're going to get. All right, well, this is in fact what Vikri is kind of uh, doing. So let's suppose there's a single object to auction. There are n individuals. So what is going to be the, uh, the decisions? Well, the set of decisions. Well, uh, the set of decision is simple, right? Only one agent is going, we ignore ties. So only one, because there's only one object to uh, sell. So only one agent is going to uh, own the object or win the auction. All right, so therefore, the, the decision rule is a vector. Uh, the, 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 I'm sorry, the set of decisions is a set of vectors, n-dimensional vectors, d, which has d1, d2, d3, all the way up to dn. Well, all those di's are either 0 or 1. So for that reason, this is the set 0, 1 to the power n. So each di... All right, is either zero or equal to one. It cannot be both, obviously, and cannot be uh, other than zero or other than one. And also, when we sum up all those di's, it has to add up to one, meaning only one agent is gonna win. Remember, I mean, they cannot add up to zero, which says nobody will win, or it cannot add up something five, because that means, you know, five people will win, okay? So it will, it has to add up to one. So all such vectors uh, will constitute our uh, set of decisions. Okay, well, what about set of types? Well, simple, agent I's valuations are their types, all right? So uh, the, the capital theta, denotes the set of valuations and small theta i is basically the valuation of agent i okay so utility function therefore of agent i remember we represented it as vi d theta i is going to be d sub i times theta i so if di is zero, meaning if you lose the object, your utility is going to be zero because you couldn't win the uh, auction. However, if di is positive, uh, it's one, I mean, uh, your valuation is, your utility is going to be your valuation. Well, don't forget, there's going to be also transfer, uh, minus transfer, we're coming up there. Uh, and transfer will be calculated according to this. All right, well, first off, what is efficient decision rule? Hmm, that, that's an important part. So in, an, in this auction environment, what would be uh, the efficient decision rule? Well, we denote the efficient decision rule d theta. And if you remember, just by definition, the efficient decision rule is this, argmax d element of v summation i from 1 to n v i uh, d theta uh, theta i. All right, so this is exactly how we find the optimal decision. Okay, well the thing is, what is v i d theta theta i? Well, it is d i times theta i. So basically we are summing all individuals d i theta i and then trying to find uh, the maximizing d. Okay, well, what is this term? Well, it is this, d1 theta 1 plus d2, d2 theta 2 all the way up to dn theta n. All right, so we want to maximize this sum by choosing some d in a set of uh, decisions. Don't forget, only one of those di's is one, everything else is gonna be zero. All right, so if d1 is equal to one, d2, d3, all the way up to dn will be zero. If d2 is one, that means d1 is zero, d3 is zero, all the way up to dn are zero, only d2 is one, all right? So if you want to maximize this, therefore, well, you have to look at which theta is actually the highest, right? So the highest theta should get 
uh, should be multiplied by 1 and all the others should be multiplied by 0 if these di's are either 0 or 1. So that means finding the efficient decision rule or sort of maximizing this sum or maximizing this thing are identical. All right. So the arg max theta i, i is in n. So that's it. Uh, well, I don't know if my notation here is, is fully uh, correct. Uh, probably not. Okay, so I had to uh, clarify this notational ambiguity. So this is not really equal to this one. So d theta is, yes, uh, the argument which maximizes this sum, uh, which is coming from here, but it's not really equal to this. It's more like a step function. So let me just write the uh, um, uh, more... A proper version. So uh, in fact di theta is going to be 1 if i is in fact is the guy which arg maxes j in n theta j and 0 otherwise. I mean if individual i's theta value is highest well then he's going to win the object and if it is not the highest, meaning the person who values the item the most is going to get the object and everybody else is going to lose. So this is the efficient outcome. This is the efficient decision rule in an auction. Okay. Uh, it's not just specific to Vickery auction, by the way. It's just for any auction. The person who values the most should be getting the uh, object and everybody should not be getting the object. Okay, uh, the efficiency has nothing to do with transfer if you remember. Good, so we found the efficient decision rule. The person who values the object the most will get the object, everybody else will not get the object. Now it's time to find or figure out the transfer uh, for each individual. Okay, so here's the thing. I just summarize it up and I will make it clearer, hopefully, why this is the case. Well, it says the following. Look, if your decision was to zero, meaning your valuation is not the highest, so you shouldn't win the auction. Well, in this case, your transfer should be zero, meaning you shouldn't pay anything. However, if the decision was equal to one for you, meaning if you should win the auction, I mean, if you win the auction, well, then you're going to pay this. Well, what is this? It's minus, first of all, so you're gonna pay something. Max j is not equal to i theta j. Well, this term is nothing but is the following. You are going to pay the second highest valuation. Okay, so remember, Agent I has the highest valuation because he wins the auction. And then if I take Agent I out of the picture and maximize theta J, J not equal to I, that means I'm actually finding the highest, second highest valuation. And so you have to, so if you win, you're going to pay the second highest valuation, which is very similar what the Vickery auction was doing, right? Uh, everybody makes a bid, the highest bidder wins, and then you pay the second highest bid, however. And later we also uh, show that in equilibrium, everybody is going to bid his true value. So therefore, uh, if you have the highest valuation, you win, and you pay the second highest valuation. Okay, so let's basically calculate those transfers and so make sure that uh, we we did not make any 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 anything wrong or just we clear how we calculate this ugly trans transfer function okay so here's how it goes so let's suppose uh, that di theta is zero okay so basically you lose oh all right well then your transfer is going to be what well, your transfer is going to be summation j not equal to i vj d theta uh, theta j. So remember, this is nothing but uh, dj theta j, right? This is the utility function minus maximize d prime in d uh, summation 
j not equal to i, once again, d prime j theta j. Okay, so here's the thing. Because di theta is equal to zero, here, one of the dj's are positive, right? I, I mean one, so there's some j star where dj star is one, and dj is equal to zero for every j different than j star, right? Because this is what the efficient, uh, I'm sorry, efficient decision rule was, if you remember. So therefore, this summation is nothing but, uh, it's just uh, theta j star. So the highest valued guy's uh, valuation. All right, well, what about this? So this is, I'm maximizing by choosing some uh, decision, d prime in d. What am I maximizing? I'm maximizing this sum. Um, you know, d1 prime theta 1 all the way up to dn prime theta n. Uh, but don't forget uh, di, uh, di theta i is excluded. Uh, okay, so I did not uh, put it in this notation in order to keep it short. So here, if we are trying to maximize this sum, all right, well, what does that mean? That means I am going to, uh, again, find the highest theta and then give that guy's uh, decision uh, as, as one and everybody else is zero. But you know what? Agent I wasn't the guy who had the highest valuation. Uh, it was somebody else because uh, because of this. Remember, he he loses the auction because he doesn't have the highest valuation. So somebody else, J star, is here who has the highest valuation. So that means the same the J star guy, all right? This J star guy is going to maximize uh, this sum. So therefore, if you're trying to maximize this sum, you have to be giving. Uh, this J star guy one and everybody else is zero. So in which case, uh, this term, this sum is going to become what? Uh, DJ star times theta J star, where DJ star is equal to one again. So I mean, the transfer is going to be theta J star, the valuation of the uh, J star guy and minus theta J star. So it's zero. All right, so the transfer is going to be zero if you lose. If you lose the auction, if you don't have the highest valuation, you shouldn't pay anything. Okay, well now, what if you actually win the auction, meaning you have the highest valuation? So di theta is equal to one. So then what's going to be my uh, uh, transfer? Okay, let's recalculate all these terms again. Uh, well, if di theta is 1, that means the ith guy has the highest valuation. And so, according to my efficient decision rule, all the dj's are 0, right? j different than i. So, this term is just 0 times theta 1, 0 times theta 2, except theta j. And so, that's simply 0 minus... Well, what about this term? Huh. So, this time... Remember, this is, once again, d1 uh, theta 1 plus all the way di minus 1 theta i minus 1 plus di plus 1 theta i plus 1. Now I uh, make it uh, open and so uh, longer. Okay, so this is the sum that we are trying to maximize. So the question is, in this sum, not, not the question, I'm sorry, in this sum, uh, agent i uh, has been taken away, all right? So if you want to maximize this, remember, once again, DI, DJs are going to get either zero or one, and only one DJ can take value of one. So if you want to maximize this sum, you have to look at the highest theta, right? Th theta, so to maximize theta J, where J different than I, and then give 
DJ, whatever uh, J is maximizing this, let's call it J double star, DJ uh, double star is going to be one and everything else is going to be zero. Well, how do I know that this J star guy is going to be different than I? Well, because the i -th guy had the highest valuation. I took it away and then, so this theta, the, the, I'm sorry, this J, J double star guy has the second highest valuation. Okay, so therefore the, uh, the, the, the decision rule or the decision uh, which is going to solve this max problem is going to be giving uh, dj double star uh, equals to one whenever that guy has the highest valuation. So therefore this value is nothing but maximize j not equal to i theta j. All right, so therefore zero minus this is nothing but just this, max j equal not equal to i theta j. All right, so this is the transfer, which is exactly the same as this one. So this is the transfer or the amount of money player i is supposed to pay if he wins the auction or if he has the highest valuation. So that's it. The VCG mechanism, the efficient decision rule together with this uh, uh, transfer function uh, is a social choice uh, function, all right? And in fact, once we apply it to Vickrey auction environment, well, what we get is an identical uh, mechanism, identical to the second price auction. 